Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MMEG. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I think this is now my third day in a row doing the analysis, but uh, regardless, that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And uh, as I talked about in yesterday's video, yeah, yesterday in and of itself, not the best day, uh, but as far as the big picture was concerned, totally healthy, perfectly fine because the price held above higher lows. And then you can see just uh, why that was the case. Yesterday was just some good old fashioned consolidation. And today you got the continuation from the move. Um, so a good solid day. The one nitpick I have is would have liked to have seen bigger volume on the upwards move. Now, don't get me wrong, just because there is lower volume, I'm not saying this thing's crashing down to triple zero five tomorrow. I'm just saying to nitpick, yeah, it'll have been a little bit more awe-inspiring had you know if the volume had increased after the, the consolidation period and then you know the big green candle that formed today. First, we're going to do is a little house cleaning here. Just get rid of this green line down here. Yes, that's still pertaining to the chart, but from a presentation standpoint, and not wanting a million lines over the place, I want to try to keep this as clean as possible. As far as uh, updates, the first update is just based on a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So yesterday talked about 0031 as a level of resistance, but now that the price is broken above it and closed above it today, this would be that ideal level of support. Meaning, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? If the price can hold up above 0031, that would make the chart look very powerful. Now, if the price does drop below it, I'm not saying everything's ruined. That would just be the preferable area. Now let's talk about areas of resistance. So if this upward move is gonna continue, where are some of these next battlegrounds at? Next key one that I would say, up there at 0045, 0045 coming from the fact that you can see in the past history, few different occasions, bulls have tried to press up there and just couldn't quite uh, been able to do it. So I'm not saying that 0045 is impossible to break. I'm just saying that as the, you know, the past history of the chart has shown us, bulls are apparently gonna need to bring their A game in order to fight through 0045. But anyway, you slice it, as long as the price keeps on putting in those higher lows like it's uh, been doing, uh, then the long-term chart's gonna take care of itself. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching, have a good one.